Good morning, baby. Say good morning. successfully, well, fairly successfully navigating the mental hurdles of starting an art business and working full time. So I wanted to share some practices that I use to get into the headspace of working full time and starting an art business. It is difficult for sure. So first thing, first thing 110% that you need to do is paint. Paint your little butt off. Paint literally as much as you can. Like, if you can paint every day, that's freaking amazing. If you dedicate one day, like one day of the week to painting, and just make that your, like, I am working on painting day, I am working to improve my skill, and I'm working to make, create, then you are gonna go so far. I found that adult life takes up way more time than I expected it to. So if you can find moments within the crazy hustle and bustle to work on your art and prioritize that, it's really gonna take you far. You, that is, it's the most important thing. You need to paint, just paint away. Paint to your little heart's content. What did I do to this tree? I don't even remember when I painted this, but look at this little guy. He's struggling. He needs some help, poor little baby. Number two tip is you need to commit. Devote time to your art. Focus on it. Sometimes you're gonna be super tired after living your adult life and having all your responsibilities, but Pushing yourself just a little bit to prioritize your art, to prioritize a little business that you want to get started is so important. You need to keep up with it. If you want all the skill that you've built up over time and all the hours that you've put into painting art to transfer into a business, you need to stick to it. You need to not give up. You need to just keep pushing forward. No matter how slow the growth, it, it really pays off over time. Many, many, many successful business people are successful because they just stuck to the thing they're working on. They did not give up on it. Number three, organize. This one is really hard for some people and I've gotten a lot better at it over the years. Organize your schedule so you can be able to paint more. Organize your environment so it's a productive place to work with. Organize your finances so that if you want to eventually go full-time working on your art, you know what it will take financially for you. You know how much you have to make to be able to make it your job. Organization is so key to any business endeavor. But, here's the thing say all these things about working your butt off and pushing yourself super far but at the same time a downfall that I really struggle with when it comes to this business when it comes to many things in life is pushing myself too hard number one two three four do not overextend yourself this is going to sound counterintuitive and hypocritical to my last three points. So I'm super, super guilty of this and I'm working really hard currently to be able to find a balance between social time, working eight hours and having freelance work, chores to do, 
things to take care of and still starting at my business and working on my hobby. I'm also like taking time to rest and do nothing is important for me and I have been neglecting that. I have been absolutely neglecting taking time to just relax, do nothing, lay around, read a book, meditate, take a shower. Well, I shower a lot I love shower. But just balance, figure out where your balance is of pushing yourself and giving yourself time to chill out. Just chill out. Some people are really good at just working 24-7 all day, every day, going, 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 never stopping with no negative repercussions whatsoever. I am not like that. That is a skill I do not possess. Number five. Five. Patience. You can't have unrealistic expectations of yourself and of your growth. Growth is going to be slow. It's absolutely going to be slow. If you're growing a social media following, if you're working on videos on YouTube, if you are trying to get your skill up to a certain level, it's going to take time. I'm painting my nails. What do you think? And so our patience ties into commitment. Know that if things are slow at the beginning, if things are slow for a long time, don't give up on it. Continue to work on it. There's a psychological study that I always bring up. I bring it up to everybody who's having trouble with patience. It was a psychological study with children. And the children were given the opportunity to either have one marshmallow right then at that very second, or wait like 10 or 20 minutes and get two marshmallows. They did this test and they followed the kids throughout their life to see, it's called a longevity study, to see where the kids went in their lifetime. And they correlated the kids who were patient enough to wait for two marshmallows to be more successful than the kids who had only decided to take one marshmallow right off the bat. The kids who were more patient were more successful at the end. To succeed, you need to persevere. Do not rely on instant gratification to motivate yourself. Know that good things are gonna come with time. You are gonna grow with time. You are gonna go places with time. You just gotta be patient. The last tip I can give for being in a good headspace for starting your art business when you have a whole other life, a whole life that you're also having to live, is to be gentle on yourself. A lot of pressure in art, this particularly by the artist being her own worst critic, to be this amazing, amazing person. Artists can be perfectionists and when we do something wrong, or make things that we're not super into, or when we're feeling in a funk, we tend to beat on ourselves really hard. Really hard. And that is not gonna get you anywhere. You kinda need to treat yourself like you would treat a friend. If your friend was starting this business, and you need to improve their skill, and you need to focus on it, would you be like, saying mean things to them? Would you tell your friend that they're not good enough and they're not working hard enough or their skill level is not where it should be? I don't think you would. You need to treat your brain like it's a good friend. Don't compare yourself to other artists, particularly skill, but also in success and following. It's really easy to see somebody who has a lot of followers or amazing talent and be like, well, I'll never get to where they are. So why even try? That is so one well, untrue and so counterproductive. <laughs> My video timed out. <laughs> now I gotta re-snuggle up. Be nice to yourself too. Don't don't let yourself think that your work is unworthy of creating a business out of it. Don't let yourself think that no one would want it, because that's just not true. Sure, 
you have skill you want to improve, sure you have things you want to work on, that does not mean no one's ever going to not play. No one's ever going to not want. It doesn't mean that no one's not ever going to want your paintings. There it is. People will want your painting at the time if you, if you work on it and if you persevere. It's really, it's just perseverance. That's really the end all be all of just being successful. You just need to, you, you gotta work. Work, 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 work. In the words of my girl, Rihanna. I truly believe that success is based mostly on the power of the mind and way less on innate talent. The people who are successful work for it. So anybody can be successful. This is also a little pep talk for me because I'm just at the beginning stages of my art business and I don't want to give up. I want to give this my all. I want to just go at it full force with all my heart and see where it goes, see where it takes me. So maybe I'll have more tips about how to actually be successful in the future. But I think my head's in the right place. I think I'm going in the right direction. I'll keep you updated. I'll keep you updated. In conclusion, starting an art business is not easy mentally, but persistence, patience, being gentle on yourself, I promise, I swear, I swear on my grave, they're gonna get you places. I swear. I'm almost done. Okay, I think it's done. I'm gonna peel the tape off. There we go. Look at that. Woo! Little painting with clean edges. All done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have a bunch more videos up now, so if you like this, you can go watch those. I'm on Instagram. I post my art on there a lot. I have a website, emilymackieart.com. Thanks again for hanging with me. Uh, not even the crack of dawn. It's way before that. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah.